everyone! I'm Jessica with Simplified Homeschool and this is going to be a series of videos on how to homeschool. So in this first video in the series, I want to talk about why I choose homeschooling. I want to tell you guys why I personally chose homeschooling and then just look at some of the reasons that people have for homeschooling in general. Now, I can't go over every reason that everyone has for homeschooling, obviously. Um, or really even all of my reasons, but I can go over my top reasons. Because honestly, I have so many reasons. We could probably sit with a cup of coffee and we could just talk and I could go on and on and on and completely bore you and you might fall asleep. So I'm going to try and make this a little bit, you know, short and shorter version and we'll see how it goes. So if you're thinking about homeschooling or you're on the fence or maybe you've already decided to homeschool, um, if you have, congratulations, that's great. But homeschooling has really been a blessing for my family. So it's something that I'm really passionate about sharing with other moms, especially moms who are thinking of homeschooling or new homeschooling moms. I'd love to help them and, you know, just give them any insight and tips that I have because a lot of people want to homeschool, but they're overwhelmed by the idea of it. And it doesn't need to be overwhelming. It can be easy. And that's why I named my channel and my blog Simplified Homeschool because I want to show people that homeschooling is attainable for anyone. You don't have to have a PhD. You don't have to be the most organized person or always be on time or be great at following schedules because I am none of those things. And honestly, most of the women that I know that homeschool are none of those things. So you don't have to be super mom to homeschool. You can do it. And there's just so many great reasons that I have decided to homeschool. But I just wanted to share with you also that so many other people are deciding to homeschool now. Um, from 2003 to 2013, the number of homeschoolers has went up 61%. And I don't even know what the data is for now up to 2016, but it is growing exponentially, the amount of homeschoolers. So the good news is that you're not alone. If you're thinking about homeschooling or if you're choosing homeschooling, you don't have to you know, have that picture in your head of being isolated and being all by yourself with your kids all day because that is not the reality, especially now in this time where homeschooling is becoming so popular and it is getting more and more generalized for people. Um, the good thing about that too is that a lot of the sort of doubts or misconceptions about homeschool are sort of erased now. Like you don't have to worry about socialization because you can join co-ops, you can join classes, your kids can be a part of sports now because there's so many homeschoolers that there's enough pretty much everywhere to make up sports teams. I mean it's just great having so many other people. And another good thing is that you can get a lot of support from your local homeschool groups and even Facebook groups and I we personally use um, sunlight for our curriculum and I'm part of a Facebook group called I think it's sunlight moms but it's for sunlight and those people are amazing you can ask pretty much any question and it gets answered like that and the women there just share so much wisdom and they're so helpful so it's really wonderful having so many other homeschoolers just available and most homeschooling moms or really all that I know have just been super helpful and they want to share their wisdom and their knowledge and they want to help other homeschooling moms. So that's great. It's a wonderful community to be a part of. Now let me go into my reasons why I chose to homeschool. Um, I'm going to kind of go in order of importance to me. So before I even had children, I was entertaining the idea of homeschooling. And mainly that came about from the talks that my husband and I would have about our school experience. It wasn't that we had a bad experience. We both went to public school, but you know we didn't retain a lot of the information that we learned in school. We didn't learn a lot of real life values or real life lessons. We didn't learn, you know, we own our own business now and we took an entrepreneurship class and we didn't learn anything about entrepreneurship, honestly, in that class. We also just found the material and the way that we were taught just kind of dry and boring, honestly except for a few maybe standout teachers and classes. But for the most part, the information was just brought to you in a very dry and boring manner. So we talked a lot about what we wanted for our kids and homeschooling seemed to be a great option because we can make learning fun or make it how we want it to be. So sort of my first reason for homeschooling is that I really wanted my children to have a love for learning. This is probably the biggest reason that I cho chose homeschool. 
I want them to be lifelong learners. I want them to just enjoy learning. And I want them to realize that learning happens all the time in life. It doesn't happen from the time you walk into a school building to the time you leave, and then you're just done for the day. You know, learning happens all the time, and it is a natural thing. And children naturally learn. They're naturally curious, and I love that. So I want my children to love learning. And I want them to learn in an exciting and fun way so that the material that they cover is retained. I also want them to be able to learn what they're interested in because I believe when a child is interested in a topic, they will learn more about it and they will retain that information. So that is my first reason for homeschooling. Um, my second reason, which it is probably the most important reason, but I felt that I could do this with my kids in public school or private school as well. So this is why it's my second reason for homeschooling and not my first. But my second reason is a religious reason. I wanted God to be a part of their education. Um, so with homeschooling, of course, I can do that. With regular school, they wouldn't get that in school, but I could do it after school if I wanted to. You know, I could teach them every day about God, about the Bible, and have them do prayer and memory verses and things like that outside of school. But this way with homeschool, I get to make it a part of our school day. And it can be, you know, at the beginning of the day, a lot of people start their day off with that. We actually do our Bible in the car on the way to work. So it's kind of the end of our homeschool day, but it's in the middle of our actual day. But having that be a part of it is so wonderful. And it's such a blessing. And I do feel like it's, that is really very important to me. And also there are certain religious things that kids are taught in school that are a little bit questionable to me. I'm not saying it's awful, and it's certainly not something that I couldn't just, you know, discuss with my children, but I do love the idea that with homeschooling, I know everything that they're learning, and I can be kind of in control of that, and if we come across a topic that is not what I believe or not what I want them to believe, then I can read the topic with them, we can discuss it, and I can say, here's what some people believe, but here's what we believe, and I can just put all of that into perspective. And if they were in school, I wouldn't necessarily know everything that they were learning, so I might not be able to have discussions about everything that they were learning that was against my personal beliefs. All right, the third reason is a tailored education. So that kind of goes along with the first and the second, but I want my children and to be educated in the best possible way for them. So each of my children is different, just like every child is different, and their learning styles are different. The way that they learn, you know, some children might learn best from hearing me speak. Some children might learn best from doing it or writing it out themselves or teaching it back to me or whatever way they learn best. I want to be able to tailor their education to that. And also I want to be able to teach them what they're interested in, which kind of goes back to my first reason, but if my child is learning about science and she is interested in learning more about the monkeys that we learned about from China in the, the other day, I mean, she spent an entire day learning about them and watching YouTube videos about it, and I love that with homeschool I can do that. I have my curriculum, but I can stop and I can say, okay, this is an interest of my child has, and we can just really delve deep into that. Or if it's a topic that's really not interesting her or a topic that she's not getting yet because she's not ready, I can move on and I can come back to it later. It's great also for things like math and language arts where your child might really excel in a certain area and you can just move super fast through it. Or your child might struggle in an area and you can just continue teaching it until they get it or you can even put that away for six months and then come back to it when they're ready, and then usually they learn it much quicker and much easier. So I love that I can tailor their education to their specific needs. Um, the fourth reason, oh, also, I kind of put this in the same reason, but as far as tailoring their education, I also wanted them to have time to explore other interests that aren't necessarily school subjects, but like their sports or art or music or whatever that they're interested in. With school, I feel like they're in school for seven hours and then you've got an hour of getting ready in the morning, an hour of picking up and getting home in the evening, then you've got homework as well. So there's not a whole lot of time left for children to explore their interests or even just play and be kids. 
but with homeschooling, you have so much more time. So your child can be a much more well-rounded child because of that. And my fourth reason is I don't like some of the things in public school, um, especially the way it's headed. I don't like the Common Core approach of everybody needs to learn this at this time, and it kind of takes the it kind of takes the power away from the teacher and puts it in with the government, and I don't like that. I don't like the thought of that at all, and I don't like all of the testing that they do in school and the high stakes testing. I mean, of course, I mean, I give tests to my children in homeschool. Um, some people do, some people do not, and that's fine, whatever you choose. But I don't like, I don't agree with the high stakes testing, you know, so that's great to me that my children don't have to deal with the stress of that. Um, as a homeschooler in my state, we are required to give our children a test every three years starting in the third grade. None of my children have made it to third grade yet. One is in second grade, one is in pre-K, and one is about to be two years old. So they haven't done any of that sort of like nationally standardized tests. But when they do, I plan on just having them do the test and not telling them their grade or anything about it. And then when it comes back, the information is just for me to use and to see where they need extra help in. And it's not going to be even discussed with them at all. So I like the idea of that. Um, my fifth reason is to spend more time with my kids. I mean, honestly, that is one of the greatest things about homeschooling is you do get to spend a ton of time with your kids. And sometimes that can be a downfall to homeschooling. I'm not going to lie because sometimes you want a little bit of time to yourself, but it's, it's worth it. It's so worth it because you get to see your kids and you get to see them grow and you get to know them so much better and you get to spend so much time with them. There's no lost time. And when they grow up, I know that I'm not going to regret spending more time with them. So that's really great to me. And the last reason that I chose homeschooling that I'm going to talk about today is that it gives my family so much freedom. Um, with us homeschooling and us owning our own business, we are just on a different schedule than the rest of the world. And I love that. For one thing, when you're homeschooled, you can go to places like the zoo or museums during school hours and it's not crowded. <laughs> so that's a really big perk to homeschooling. But for another thing, you can go on vacation um, during the school year or whenever you want. So instead of going in the hottest part of the summer, we usually go to the beach right at the very beginning of the actual summer season before school's out. And it's so lovely and it's so wonderful. So you can really plan your family vacations around that. And usually it's not as crowded when you go and you can get cheaper rates for hotels and everything. So that's wonderful too. But I also like just the daily schedule freedom that we have. I like the fact that we can kind of get up whenever we want, which next, this starting up school year, the 2016, 2017, we're going to have a little bit more of a schedule just because I want to have a schedule for us, but it's not necessarily a schedule that we have to have. It's kind of just self-imposed. And my kids can stay up later. They don't have to go to bed at 8 o'clock at night. They can go to bed at 10, 11, even 12 o'clock at night if they want to, um, except on school nights. I don't let them do that. But they can, you know, they can stay up later. They can just kind of do what they want and not go to bed so early. I know with school you have to go to bed pretty early. You don't have to get up so early. So I love the, the daily schedule, the freedom that we have. If we have an invite from another homeschool family or something with our co-op or even something with grandma, you know, we just, we go and we don't do school for that day or we do school when we get back or we make it up another day, just however it works. Or maybe whatever we're doing is an educational field trip and that is our school for the day. So I love that freedom to be able to really take advantage of all the opportunities that my children are offered. So that is why I homeschool. So, you know, homeschooling is definitely a very personal choice. It's not for everybody, but I think it's for more people than, than not because you really can do it. It's not that hard. It can be simple. And if you want to learn more about it or if you think that homeschooling might be great for your family, um, just watch some more videos in this video series on how to homeschool. I'm going to go over in the next video some encouragement for moms. So I'm going to talk about some of the doubts that you may have with homeschooling, like socialization or possibly your level of education and worrying about teaching, different things like that. And then I'm going to talk about 
what steps you need to take to homeschool in later videos. Um, checking with your state laws. I'm going to talk about making portfolios, choosing curriculum, organizing, keeping up with everything. I'm going to go through it all, basically from start to finish, to really get you started if this is what you want to do. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and please stay tuned for the rest of the videos in the series. And it was great getting to chat with you, and I look forward to chatting with you again.